What is up guys, Smokes Guy here, and today I'll be showing you my build for the next raid. Um, I'll be going in on day one, um, and this is my build. Uh, feel free to use it, maybe. Uh, I think it's pretty tanky, it's pretty pretty strong. I've been thinking about this build for the past year, but new, new uh, ideas kind of stacked onto it, I guess, as the seasons progress, because there's some mods that are you know recent so um some things have obviously changed but um first of all don't mind the weapon loadout on um, all the weapons that i'll be using that synergize with some of this stuff um are not currently on my warlock and i didn't feel like transferring them but um some some of the stuff i can i'll be able to showcase everything off with these weapons so uh starting off this is kind of like a selfish war mine build uh war mine cell build so i know there's no exotic but well i have exotics to switch to and I'll, I'll show that in a second so for my helmet i'm running uh the trials helmet uh trials of the nine helmet uh the helmet itself doesn't really matter that much but um and the role isn't perfect but i have currently have on um mine resist uh smg targeting which i might uh, i can switch to auto rifle targeting um, and then I have heavy ammo finder and fire team medic. Now the reason why I have SMG targeting and fire team medic is because um, I will probably I'll have um, I close SMG is going to be one of my options in the secondary slot. So uh, what fire team medic does is basically whenever you get a kill with a seven serif weapon or a war mine weapon in general, so like uh, like I close SMG works. Um, <clears throat> It generates a war mine cell. Uh, this war mine cell, when you destroy it, obviously kills the enemies around it, um, but it also heals you. Uh, depending on like how the encounter, uh, you know, turns, how encounters turn out, I could also switch. I mean, assuming that I even use Iclos SMG, uh, global reach might be better just because it had the explosion has more radius. But this uh, will heal if you destroy this uh, cell. It also destroys enemies, but it can heal you and your allies. So. Um, real quick, I will go and show you, show you guys, the range on a fire team medic, uh, Summit Seraph, or mine cell. Surprised I haven't generated one yet. So, uh, that war mine cell can reach to over here where the ogre is. So if I shoot that, oh wait, what the heck, bro? What? I guess. So I guess you can't uh, hit it with those with snipers, but um, see, as you can see, it, it reached all the way out to here. Um, and war mine cells are pretty strong because they can. Uh, they can clear out a decent amount of enemies, um, but the global reach has even more rate range than that. Um, if you guys, if the war mine cell is about right here, it can also reach to the O. Oh, no, no, actually, it has to be like right here, and then it can reach the ogre. Um, but here, hold on, let me find a grenade launcher that I can lower myself with. Here, let me see if I can lower myself with this rocket launcher. Yeah, I can. I can. All right. Um, let me go get ammo for you guys real quick. Uh, and then I'll show you guys the. All right, now check this out. You gotta go. No. And so it heals about half your health and uh, half your allies health. So anybody that's near the war mine cell, it heals them. Uh, this is good for obvious reasons. I mean, health when you're under light is a big thing. Um, uh, so yeah. Um, and then for and then there's some more to this helmet that I'll talk about um, a little later. Uh, but then my arms have minor resist also. 
uh, SMG loader, which can also be switched to auto life, auto, auto rifle loader, um, or maybe even fastball, I guess, but probably auto rifle loader. Uh, and this is light arms uh, loader, which m could also be switched if I use uh, an auto. Um, wait. Um, yeah, so. Uh, and then we have a fallen barrier. Uh, and the reason why I have fallen barrier on is because. There's a, I'm not, it's not 100% confirmed, but there's a high chance that the next raid will be Fallen. Um, it is, it's a Fallen base expansion, so I'd expect it to be Fallen. If not, then, you know, we can work our way around this, maybe use some other armor pieces. We'll see. This one can't, won't be swapped around too much. Um, for the chest piece, we have a recovery mod, because I didn't really, I didn't put on, like, minor resist or anything. Just figured I'd put on a recovery mod. <clears throat> Uh, unflinching SMG aim, which can be switched to unflinching auto rifle aim. Uh, SMG reserves, which can be switched to, uh, why do I have SMG reserve? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, auto, which can be switched to auto rifle reserves. I think I just put it there because I had some extra energy, I might as well just put it in. Uh, and then I have taken, I have fallen armaments, uh, like I said, because I think the next raid will be fallen. If not, it can be switched accordingly. Switch to armors, I can switch to armor set and whatnot. Um, and then we have, on boots, we have Minor Resist, uh, Hand can. don't worry, don't mind the Hand Cannon Dexterity thing, like, I just put it on there because I had an extra slot of energy, I can take that off at any time. Uh, Heavy Ammo Scavenger, uh, so bonus reserves when you pick up Heavy Ammo, and then Taking Charge, which basically means become charged with light by picking up Orbs of Light, and considering all my weapons that I'm going to be using are Masterwork, that will generate a lot of Orbs of Light. And then the reason why I need to become charged with light is because uh, here on my bond, uh, I have a recovery mod. I have better already, which basically means your health begins to regenerate immediately after picking up an orb of light. Uh, remote connection, because I'm going to have sniper, I'm probably going to be using sniper rifle a lot. Uh, so bonus super energy on sniper rifle kills. And then here's the big one. So I had charged with, or I had taking charge earlier. This is protective light. So what this means is while you're charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed. So basically when you hit red health, um, whenever you hit red health, uh, you basically just get insane uh, damage resistance. Now the more stacks you have, it lasts longer, basically. Um, and then this can become even better if I do a, a quick perk swap, so I'll show you real quick. Uh, I kind of like this build, but there's an, there's a little bit of a swap that I can do that might be a little better for the team and for me maybe. I haven't really figured it all out yet, but so what I might do is I might run Phoenix Protocol, which is not masterwork. It's, it's I mean I could not get a good roll, so I just pulled it from uh, collections. Recovery mod and unflinching rifle aim. You don't need to worry about the mods too much on this. Uh, there's not really too much I could do because I didn't want to waste my sentence charge on this. Uh, trash roll but um now if i do this then i lose fallen armaments right well i can switch fire team medic off because if i'm using phoenix protocol i don't want i'm not going to wait i'm not going to use warm mind cell mod i'm going to switch to the gnawing hunger probably so then i would switch this i would switch submachine gun targeting to uh auto load, auto rifle targeting um and then this we'll put on i'll put on taking charge on this Alright, and then what that does is the reason why I'm putting taking charge on that is because I'm going to switch these boots to these boots, which have, um, the, this has special ammo scavenger instead of uh, heavy ammo scavenger, unfortunately, because I couldn't get enough uh, energy, but auto rifle dexterity, uh, this would have fallen armaments on it, so instead of having fallen armaments on this, and I want to use Phoenix Critical, I can have it on this. Uh, taking charge on that and the protective light. So it's basically the same thing, just a couple of swaps, and then it turn into like an auto rifle build. Uh, and then that's basically it on the armor set, uh, armor uh, side. Chances are I'll probably be using well. Um, as for weapons, my primary slot will include a primary shotgun of some sort. Um, I'll probably choose between a good rolled Hawthorns uh, trench. Uh, Threat level if it hasn't if it's not getting sunset I'm pretty sure it's the, the if you get a new one it's not getting sunset um, with trench barrel uh, and then or uh, an astro I mean I might use my astro I don't know we'll see 
Uh, they're not like it's not like shotguns are really meta for boss damage. They're more for like major damage and whatnot. Uh, Izanagi's burden will definitely be there. Uh, I'll have a long a god roll long shadow. Um, well, it's not uh, it's not god rolled. I think I'm, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, and I'll, I might have my supremacy in there too, my god roll supremacy. Um, for secondary, I'll have gnawing hunger, Iclos SMG, uh. Trophy Hunter, my Iclo Sniper, uh, Divinity, but I probably won't be the one running Divinity. Um, Trinity Ghoul. Trinity Ghoul is a, a big thing uh, with the Catalyst. It's it's amazing. That's all I can say, really. Um, and then that's it for se Oh, yeah, that's it for secondary. Um, for heavy, I'll have Guillotine, which I probably won't use because it's a day one raid, but I'll have Seventh Seraph Saw, which is the uh, war mine cell, uh, ro or machine gun. I think it's the only machine gun knocking sun. I don't sunset. I don't know. I'm not really 100% sure on that one. Um, then we'll have Whisper, Xeno, Anarchy. Uh, basically anything that could be good for DPS, uh, when you're under leveled. Uh, and, and Wendigo. Or, no, not Wendigo, sorry. Uh, Interference. Because Izzy Interference. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if that, that'll be meta. We, it just depends on the boss. Um, but, uh, and then also subclass, like I said, probably running well, maybe, uh, Nova, but, uh, and then obviously there's stasis, but I, I, I'd have to see how stasis works out, I'd have to see if it's needed, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and, uh, of course, subscribe. Hit the, if you do subscribe, hit the bell, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I could turn to back down